to Maverick Insider. I'm Haley McCormick, joined alongside MSU head men's basketball coach, Coach Morgan Thaler. Coach, you guys are 6-0 and to start the season. What changes when conference play starts up this week? Well, really everything. I mean, we're playing better competition. Um, it's nice to be home. That's a, that's a big thing for us. And um, I think, you know, the nice thing about our guys is they've been really connected over the last week. And I thought they did a nice job, you know, playing teams that are a little bit more in inferior than our, our program is. But I thought we stayed focused. We worked hard. We, we played together. Um, those are things we really talk about a lot. And we need to carry that on into conference play. And then how do you stay consistent for that full 40 minutes of game? You know, we haven't done that yet. So if you if you find that out, let me know. Um, mm -hmm. But hopefully we'll, we'll be able to do that. I think we've played, uh, you know, a couple of games, about 90% uh, the, the entire game. But we just, we get lackadaisical at times. We need to really uh, shore that up this week in practice. And then, we'll, again, once it gets to the league, every, everything's a grind. I mean, it's going to come down to that last five minutes. We need to make plays. But I really feel we have the guys on this basketball team that can make those plays for us and, and get us those Ws we really need. And speaking of making plays, you guys are great at crashing the offensive boards. What do you work on in practice to get those second chan chance points? Well, we talk a lot. You know, it's, it's what you emphasize and what you're going to be good or bad at, I think. And so um, we really emphasize re rebounding on both ends of the floor. We, we allow our guys to take some quick shots at times if we'll rebound the basketball. So they know that uh, if, if they're going to take some quick shots, they, they, better, they better rebound. If they do that, then we'll be just fine. And then you guys weren't ranked at the beginning of the season nationally. You jumped from 12 now to 9. Did you feel uh, your team feel a little disrespected at all that you weren't ranked? Or no. we kind of said it was just a number. That... It is just a number. And I'm on the committee that ranks teams. I don't even rank ourselves. <laughs> so I don't think that we should be ranked right now. Even, I mean, where we're, we're at, it's nice. It helps in recruiting. It's great nationally to, to have Minnesota State out there. But uh, in Division Two, the rankings don't mean anything at all. We just need to continue to, to win today, be better as we possibly can. And, and really just when the, we, what, what we want to do is be on top at the end of the season, win the conference, get back to the NCAA tournament. That's what this program needs, and, and that's what we expect every single year. And then you brought in a couple or some new faces from the transfer portal. How does that affect you as a head coach bringing in those, you know, transfer players? How do you adapt them to the style that like, you like to run? Well, you know, the nice thing is they, they're guys that we can watch film on. So we know what they could do, and what they couldn't do. Um, you know, one was from our league. So we had a scout on him already. And so, you know, the portal has changed the game. There's no question about that. But for us, it's helped us this year. Uh, it's hurt us in the past. Uh, we will continue to use it and hopefully use it as a benefit to our program. And then when you say hurt you in the past, how do you like, bounce back from that, you know, get new players, or how yeah. do you work around that so it doesn't necessarily hurt you? It's really tough to do, to be quite honest with you. But then, you know, in return, like we have these three young men this year that we brought in, they're guys that fit very well with what we need, and they're great young men. And they, and that's the biggest thing. You need to get to know them as a person to make sure you don't bring in the wrong person. Uh, that that kind of could really disrupt your chemistry. And then uh, home game coming up on Friday in SIC play. What are some keys to victory in that game to start off, you know, seven and up? Yeah, I think that, uh, one, we need to be consistent for 40 minutes. We need to uh, stay connected uh, and continue to play well together. I think that this team offensively is very gifted. We need to really uh, – our mindset's got to be more on the defensive end and, and can continue to rebound the basketball. So if you limit your opponent's opportunities, we get more opportunities and good things are going to happen. All right, well, thank you, Coach, for joining us. And we'll be right back with more Maverick Insider after the break.